welcome students in this class we are going to discuss about werner's theory werner's theory pathi discuss panna porom okay ma right alfred werner okay va avaru da first first coordination compounds pathi uh, ideas propose pannaru he considered this compound cobalt chloride with ammonia cobalt chloride with ammonia adhile nariya complex irukku adha paakalam right theory ku poidu according to him metal ion so or coordination compound center la or metal ion irukku liya that metal ion has two types of valencies rendu vidamana valency bond irukku enna adu appadina ta first one is called as primary valency or it is called as ionizable valency and another one is secondary valency or non ionizable valency ionizable means enna it can be dissociated into it can dissociate into ions in water thanni la karachoda ions a poidum it is called as primary valency right primary valency it mainly it is due to the positive charge on the metal or sometimes metal may have zero charge metal may have zero charge metal oda charge zero varukla appa the atom nu solranum okay va right it is satisfied by if it is positive charge it is definitely satisfied by what ions negative charged ions only it is satisfied by negative charged ions only right then it refers to what is what does it refer to it refers to the oxidation state of the metal the metal oda oxidation state refer pannudhu okay then secondary valency it is satisfied by negative ions positive ions or neutral molecules neutral molecules kuda satisfy pannalam or combined it may combine any or any two or three may combine and satisfy the secondary valency right what does it refer to it refers to coordination number coordination number means what how many pair of electrons a metal atom or ion can accept etana pair of electrons a vaanga mudiyum how many pairs a metal can accept is called as coordination number right then there are he is meaning alfred werner is meaning there are two spheres of attraction look here so in this complex cobalt chloride six with six ammonium molecules there are two spheres here it is the first sphere it is called as inner sphere inner sphere it is otherwise called as coordination sphere why it is called because the inner sphere consists of groups which are forming coordinate bond with the central atom they are called as coordination sphere those species are tightly attached by the molecules so since they are tightly attached they will be in a perfect direction so that they will have they will be having directional nature the, those bonds will be having directional nature then there is outer sphere in which here you can see chloride ions are there right the it is called as ionization sphere why it is called ionization sphere sphere means it can dissociate those particles in the ionization sphere can dissociate when dissolved in water right right they are loosely attached since they are outside loosely attached and they may be attracted from any direction see here cobalt is having three plus charge so it is satisfied by these three chloride ions or plus charge chloride negative from it can attract from any direction so these chlorides can be drawn anywhere in this diagram that's why the bond is given in a dotted line whereas for amine see here ammonia ku cobalt ku irukra bond enna pannirukom straight line stretch pannirukom whereas idu dotted lines la podirukom okay va right so what it implies inner sphere consists of secondary valencies so the secondary valencies are directional in nature and the primary valencies are non directional in nature right அப்ப செகண்டரி வேலன்சிஸ்ல டைரக்ஷனல் நேச்சர் இருக்குனா இட் गिव्स ஏ ஜியோமெட்ரி டு தி மாலிகியூல் இட் गिव्स ஏ ஜியோமெட்ரி டு தி மாலிகியூல் பாஸ் ஹியர் ஆர் சம் எக்ஸாம்பிள்ஸ் ரைட் கோபால்ட் குளோரைட் இஸ் வித் 6 அமோனியம் மாலிகியூல்ஸ் வி கேன் பிரெடிக்ட் தி ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ஆஃப் தி கோஆர்டினேஷன் காம்பவுண்ட் see here cobalt will definitely be associated with the 6 அமோனியம் மாலிகியூல் since they are neutral i already mentioned primary valency will be satisfied by negative ions only here the negative ions are chloride ions so here the primary valency satisfied by only by negative ions so the primary valency all the three valencies of cobalt 3 plus will be satisfied by three chloride ions only right okay then now look here here there are only five ammonia molecules five ammonia molecules right the secondary valency of cobalt is 6 it accepts six pairs of electrons here only five pairs of electrons are given by five ammonia so the sixth pair will be given by one chloride ion one chloride ion so the remaining two chloride ions will be present outside will be present outside right then here there are four ammonia molecules only so similarly along with four ammonia molecules two chloride ions will satisfy the secondary valency why i am repeatedly telling that 
coordination number of cobalt. Cobalt will accept six pairs of electrons. So there must be six pair donors. So remaining one chloride ion, chloride ion outside. So here also the same formula. So why it is written twice means it is nothing but the isomer. It is nothing but the isomer. Here it will be geometric isomer. Cistern's isomerism will be there. We will discuss the isomerism later. Right. Now see here. Who is satisfying the second valency? Here it is six ammonium molecules. Whereas here five ammonium molecules and a chloride ion. Here four ammonium molecules and two chloride ions. Here four ammonium molecules and two chloride ions. Same. Right. How many ionizable chloride ions are there? How many ionizable? Which is outside? Which is outer sphere? Just now we uh, saw inner sphere and outer sphere in Bernoulli's theory, right? Outer sphere consists of three chloride ions, so they are nothing but the ionizable ones. So here it is two chloride ions, one chloride ion and one chloride ion, right? When this compound is treated with silver nitrate, upon adding silver nitrate, we will get silver chloride precipitate. Is it right? So here there are three chloride ions. So we will get three moles of three moles of silver chloride as precipitate. Again, here two chloride ions are present, so we will get two moles of silver chloride. Here we will get each one mole of silver chloride, right? Right. Then, so these are the main concepts dealing with the Werner's theory of coordination compounds, right? Now, what are the limitations of Werner's theory? So it is the first to propose the theory regarding the coordination compounds. It suffers from a lot of defects. What are the defects, sir? Main defect is that. It is not at all able to explain the color and magnetic properties of the coordination compounds, which are the most important ones, and those explanations are given by the next theory, which are being, which we are going to deal with in the next classes. Okay, thank you.